Lent Devotions and Reflections 40 Lessons from the Life of Jesus Christ Day 28 Lesson 28 Revere the Temple of God God's word for today If anyone defiles the temple of God God will destroy him For the temple of God is holy Which temple you are 1 Corinthians 3 17 Lessons on Revere the Temple of God from Jesus for building and strengthening our relationship with Him. Jesus revered the Temple of God. Bible records that He cleansed the Temple. Jesus went into the Temple of God and drove out all those who bought and sold in the Temple. And He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. The Gospel of Mark records that Jesus said, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. In Luke 19, 46, we read Jesus saying to them, It is written, My house is a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And in John 2, 16, we find that Jesus was totally not happy with people buying and selling in the house of God that he said, take these things away, do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. Seeing this incident, his disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house has eaten me up. Thus, Jesus revered the temple of God as a house of prayer. In the New Testament, our own body is likened to the temple of God. When we read 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19, it says, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? Yes, we are not our own. We should always be conscious that our body is the temple of God and we should always keep it clean. The important lesson that we learn today from the life of Jesus is that we should revere the temple of God, both the physical one and in the spiritual sense, our body too. Remember the love of Jesus and say, Love you, my Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I desire your presence the most. Even as you have said that my body is the temple of God, Lord, I want to worship you with the whole of my body, mind and soul. I am also zealous towards your house, Lord. I love you, my Lord Jesus. Repent of shortcomings and say, Edify me, my Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I want to have the zeal for your house just as you had. There are times when I have taken going into your house so lightly, I realize that it doesn't please you as you were zealous for the house of God and expect me to have the same zeal. Even as your word says, help me to guard my body, the temple in holiness. On this day, edify me, my Lord Jesus, and help me to be holy in all my ways. Renounce self-ego and say, Not I, but you, my Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you were very serious about things pertaining to the temple of God, both the physical one and the spiritual one. You did not entertain any ungodly practices in the temple of God, and you were very right in guarding the temple of your body holy. But on many occasions, when my self-comforts and self-desires take the upper hand, I fail to do so, both physically and spiritually. Today, Lord Jesus, I deny myself and tell you, not I, but you, my Lord Jesus, enable me to exercise reverence for the temple of God. Relinquish to the divine will and say, Thy will in my life, my Lord Jesus, dear God, Thank you for keeping me safe and sound amidst all the surrounding chaos. I want to have great zeal for the temple of God just as you were zealous. My Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for teaching me today lessons on revering the temple of God from your life. 
just as you revered the temple of god as a house of prayer i should too like you i should also be conscious to keep the temple of my body holy enable me lord to live a holy life with reverence for the temple of god on the 28th day of this lenten season i commit myself to thy will help me have reverence for the temple of god the physical one and my body too amen